All right, so let's talk a little bit about how to interconvert pH and hydronium ion concentration. Now, why do we use pH and what is, what, what's the big deal with pH? Well, because the concentrations of hydronium ions and hydroxyl ions in aqueous solutions are usually or frequently very small, the numbers can be very inconvenient to work with for very, very small um, hydronium and hydroxyl ion concentrations. And so a system was developed a more practical measure, something easier to work with, was pH. So what is the pH of a solution? Well, pH is defined as the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. Now remember that H3O and H plus are used interchangeably. So you can also see uh, the formula for the calculating pH as a negative log of the H plus concentration, but they are both the same thing. Now keep in mind that this equation right here is simply designed to give us convenient numbers to work with for pH, okay? And the reason it's the negative log is because it gives us a positive pH that would otherwise be negative due to the very, very small number that we have for hydronium ion concentration. Now that doesn't mean that all pH values are positive. In very, very high concentrations of hydronium ions, pH can actually be negative. So when you all see this, the pH scale, you see it normally is presented that it runs from zero to 14. Well, you can also have pHs below zero and you can have pH above 14. It just depends on how, um, how concentrated the solution is in regards to either H plus hydronium ion or hydroxide ions. Now I do wanna add that when you're looking at the pH scale, anything less than seven, so a pH of less than seven, so here up, is considered acidic. Anything greater than seven, so a pH of 7.1 or higher, is considered basic. A neutral solution by definition, by definition has the exact same concentration of hydronium and hydroxide ions. And so that solution would have a pH of exactly seven and it would be neutral. Now, when you're trying to decipher the pH scale, you have to remember that it works by powers of 10, it's a log scale. So that means that if I have a pH of six, so what has a pH of six? Well, urine and saliva have a pH of around six. If I'm comparing that to uh, the pH of, of urine to the pH of tears, which has a pH of seven, would I say that urine is one time more acidic than tears? No, the, there's a difference of one pH between the two, six and seven, but every jump on the pH scale is a factor of 10. So urine is 10 times more acidic than seven. Well, what if there were two jumps from five to seven? Well, from here, from seven to six is 10 times. From seven to five would be, what's the next power of 10? 100, just add another zero. If I'm comparing tomato juice and tears, well, it'd be 10, 100, 1,000 times more acidic tomato juice will be. So again, these formulas are how we determine the pH. Well, what if we are given the pH and we're in turn asked to calculate the hydronium ion concentration? How do we do that? Well, we'd have to use this formula, which states that the hydronium ion concentration is the antilog, so 10 to the negative pH, right? It's the antilog of the pH. Now again, H3O plus can also be represented as H plus. So if you see H plus or if you see H3O plus, just know that they're used interchangeably and they mean the same thing as far as we are concerned. So now let's use these two equations to tackle this example problem. So we've got three parts to this problem. We have three different solutions. 
solution A, B, and C, with, uh, we are either given the hydronium ion concentration or we are given the pH, okay? For solution A, we are given the hydronium ion concentration and they want us to find the pH. So let's use what we just learned to find the pH of solution A. The pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So for solution A, the pH is equal to the negative log of 8.6 times 10 to the minus 7. It's a concentration and the units there are moles per liter, of course. So the pH is equal to 6.065. Now, they say to round all of our entries for pH to two decimal places. That is because as far as the pH scale is concerned, digits that are to the left of the decimal place are not considered significant. So only the digits to the right of the decimal place are considered significant for pH values. And that is, that's just simply because of weird log rules. Okay, so if we want our values to be rounded, our pH values to be rounded to two significant digits, it makes sense why they ask for two decimal places. So this pH should actually be reported as 6.2 significant digits. So two decimal places, it'd be 6.07. Now let's look at solution B. So for solution B, they give us the pH and they want us to determine the hydronium ion concentration. Well, can we find that? Absolutely, we can. The hydronium ion concentration is equal to the antilog of the equation that gives us pH. So, hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. And so the hydronium ion concentration is equal to 10 to the, what's the pH? 10.38. That'll give us a hydronium uh, ion concentration of 4.2 times 10 to the negative 11. That would be the concentration of hydronium ion. And then let's do C. Solution C, they want us to find the pH again. And what is the pH equal to? Well, pH is equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration, which is given here for solution C. So the pH is going to be equal to the negative log, and let's plug in hydronium ion concentration. The units are moles per liter, so it's molarity. pH is equal to 2.0. 0, 3, 6. And because the pH needs to be run with the two significant digits, that would be two decimal places. So this would be 2.04. Now just remember that when you are trying to determine pH, the concentration of the hydronium ions must be in moles per liter. So that is why the concentrations here is always given in moles per liter. And also remember that as far as pH is concerned, significant digits only count for the digits to the right of the decimal place.